how y'all doing? The Fat Guy Flies RC. Coming to you from the man cave, and we're going to do the unboxing of the Arrows SZD54 2000 millimeter power glider. So, take it out of the box. If I can get the top of it off. Interesting, oh, okay. the top stays in there. And, uh, okay. And you can see how, how nice everything is packed in there. Here is, looks like the left wing here. And you've got metal running along your uh, control services to reinforce those hinges. That's very, very, a very nice smooth finish. Same thing for this wing, metal there. Man, and this, and I want to tell you folks, this is not a, there's little winglets that go on the very end. They just clap right on there. Here you've got flap, aileron Y leads. You've got one elevator. Of course, the fuselage with a folding prop. Instructions, which we will look at if we need to. And then you've got these metal um, bars. Now, this reminds me so much of the FMS. Don't save your box, too, by the way. It's a great carrying box. For the model, and make them left from there. And you know what? I'll be willing to bet we can just go ahead and do a quick assembly video. I mean, come on. There you got that. You got nice big bay. Little notch out there just screams for a. Uh, an AR620 receiver, which is exactly what I'm going to put in it, just as soon as I can find it. I have it sitting out just for, right, there it is. And this plane is going to be such a docile flying plane. AR620 is going to sit right there. Perfect spot for it. All right, you got your throttle and rudder and elevator okay got flap and elevator for our flap and aileron same thing here same thing here so what we'll do we're going to take this this is just like just like the uh, AS, ASW-17 by FMS, and you're going to screw that one, that bad boy, in there like that. I suggest having something handy to cinch that down, like that. Keep your parts out where you can find them, because <laughs> parts are parts, man. Put that in there. That just screws in there. It has a nice metal back plate that that screws into. I've watched the assemblies and the reviews on this plane so much that I just feel like I already know how to, how to do it. But apparently I don't because I can't get this one started for some reason. There it goes. You'll be able to tell when it gets in there. You'll feel it. Okay. And then give it, put your nice tool through there. Give her a nice crank down. Okay. Okay, you're gonna want to, there's a big hole here. Stick your fingers through to make it very easy for you to fish your control uh, servo leads through. And it just sticks on there like 
like so. I suggest doing this on the edge of a table like that so you can grab everything as they come through. Okay, and at the bottom, just to show you, you got these two tabs here. Okay, and you're gonna feel that. That should just click right in. Okay, and it's not. Yeah, it's it's a click, and then there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press on it in order to get it to release. Okay. Take this side here, take your model, put it on the edge of a table, fit it in there, let these leads. There's a nice, big, very obvious hole where you put your leads go. Might want to take the end of something to fish them through there. Maybe your finger or yeah, there they go. Then you just want to grab a hold of them. All right, there's that one there. Okay. Take a little screwdriver or something. Pull the other lead through. There you go. That way you get everything through there. And like I say, yeah, you'll feel it click in. And that, that ain't coming out. All right. This is the only linkage you're going to have to hook up is your vertical or your horizontal stabilizer. And it's going, it's keyed in. You'll see this, you can see this channel right there that it's going to fit in you can see the channels there and you just guide this in very similar to whenever like a drawer comes out of your like out of your when a drawer comes out of, of your cabinet or your dresser those channels very similar now you feel that click in feel that click in and yeah okay now that's in there and uh the only other thing that you're going to do is you're going to take, oh, this is so simple. So very simple. Open up your parts bag, take out your knife, open up your parts bag, don't cut yourself. Okay, got your, your little uh, control arm, pull your, your fuel tubing down. Take your model, okay? You're gonna to wanna to put this, I, let's see what the instructions say. <laughs> okay, on the servo arm, you're gonna hook the Z bend to the outermost hole, and then on the, uh, control surface uh, the arm you're going to go the furthest out so that's going to give you very good control so I'm going to hook it excuse me I'm going to hook it right there fill it through there and then I'm going to hook through that hole there and I must have dropped the fuel tubing somewhere, but hook that there, and then on that level, okay. Oh boy, take these little winglets, they go, one goes there, one goes there, they click into place. It's a three-channel burr, three, three, uh, three, uh, there you go. 
It's a three cell only bird. There you go. Put together just that quick. I got to find my fuel tube and I got plenty of it though. And that's all you got to do. She's assembled. You know, of course, I got to put a radio in and it's going to be just a simple bind process. Um, the AR620 because you got flaps, so you're going to have to have at least five channels. And uh, keep your box because the uh, disassembly is just as simple. Okay. You're going to take your, remember I said these, you're going to push in on those tabs. Okay, and you'll pull out. Okay, apparently it's there. So you're going to pull that out. All right, push in. Pull your leaves out. Okay, feel that disengage. Pull that out, take those off, undo that, slide that off, put it back in the box. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You'll be able to have this model put together and taken apart and after practice two or three minutes. There you go, folks. That's the, uh, what is this thing? The, the SZD54 um, 2000 millimeter glider by arrows um i just want to do that quickly i just want to show you how quickly you can do that so uh and i've never done it before just that simple watch some videos watch my video don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and goodbye